Hello everyone and welcome to this GMA tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn how we can test the performance of SOAP and REST API. So let's begin. In this tutorial first we will learn about the SOAP API then we will learn about the REST API. So for SOAP API you need to copy this URL okay, and you need to open this in the browser. So from this particular website we will be picking up example API for the learning purpose. So let's go to the browser and open this particular website so this is a website if you scroll down here we will find the examples so there are multiple examples one is basically calculating or converting from celsius to fahrenheit and then we have another api which is very simple if you provide a name here whatever the name you provide in the example it will respond back with the hello and the name you provided here and this is the url of this particular web service or api now let's open the postman and see either we can execute this particular api or not so simply uh, what you need to do is that in the postman you need to provide the complete url and the xml okay change the name whatever you want and click on send okay so after executing you will see that now it's saying hello testing funda okay so this is a simple api now let's open the gmeter here and in the gmeter just go to the test plan right click on this one go to add add thread group okay and now right click on thread group go to add go to sampler and click on http request so basically if you go here in the postman you can see that this is an http request http okay now go back to the gmeter here we need to provide the protocol which is http and then we need to provide a server name or IP. So if I go here and open the, J, open the postman here, so www.com, okay, this one is basically a host or server name. Copy this one, go to the JMeter and provide it here. Now we need to tell the path, okay? So go back to the postman here and we need to provide the rest of the remaining URL, okay? So we need to copy from here and go to the JMeter and provide this here, okay? Now, we also need to tell the JMeter what will be the method of this particular call. So open the documentation here and you can see here that this call is basically a post call, okay? This is a post call. So we need to select a post from here and what else we need for this call? So we also need an XML body, right? We need to send a parameter. So click on the body here and copy the body from the from the website. Okay, now copy this one and paste this here in the body section. Okay, now uh, let's change the name here and changing is to testing funder. Okay, now our request is ready. Just add a listener. Okay, go to the listener, add view results free. Okay. And now just dry run this one here and see what happens. Okay. So request got executed. Okay. So here in the request, go to the request tab here. So this is a request. This was a complete URL. It was a post and we posted this data. So now in response, we should have hello testing funda. So go to the response data here and you can see that we are getting this hello testing funda okay so that's how you can configure the soap apis in the jmeter furthermore obviously if you want to test the performance of this application or api so you need to go to the thread group add the number of threads let's suppose we are adding 10 let's run this again and we will get the results as per our the load on this particular api okay you can see that we are getting the proper response here. So that's how you can test the performance of the SOAP API in the JMeter. Now let's see how we can test the performance of the REST APIs. Open the notepad here and open this particular website. Copy this URL from here and open the browser and in the browser paste this URL here. And in this particular website, we will be picking up some sample APIs for the learning purpose. Go to this fake API go to this rest api and you will find a lot of 
sample APIs here. Okay, so we have APIs with the different methods like get, post, delete, patch, put. Right. So from these ones, I have picked this get API, and also I have picked this post API. So from this get API, I will be fetching all the airlines data, and from this particular API, I will be creating a passenger. Okay. So now let's open the postman here and let's see either these APIs are working or not. So for the get API, you need to select the get here. Okay. Then you need to provide a complete URL and click on send. So after sending the request, you will get a proper response here. Okay. So this means that this API is working. Now click on this API here and here you need to provide the body. Okay. And this is a post call because we are creating a passenger. Okay. Now from where we get this body, open the website. Okay. And here you can see that we have small arrows, which is pointing us to the documentation. Okay. Click on this one and you will get the sample request here. So this is a JSON format. Okay. So you, you need to copy from here and paste here in the postman. Okay. Now click on send here and you will see that it will create a passenger here. Now open the JMeter here and first change the thread group to one. Okay. And change the name of this first request. So I'm naming it as sample soap API or web service. Okay. And let's add another request. Go to the sampler select HTTP request again because the REST API is also HTTP based so that's why we need to select the HTTP request now open the postman here and you can see that this is HTTPS not HTTP okay so go to the JMeter here and you need to provide HTTPS then we need to provide the server name so open the postman here and you need to copy till dot net api dot instant web tools dot net okay you need to copy till here okay copy this one open the jmeter paste it here okay now this is a get call okay but now we need to provide the path for this particular api open the postman and copy the rest of the url copy this one open the jmeter here provide slash here and the rest of the URL. Now change the name to sample get rest API. Okay. Cool. So I am uh, removing this one from here and let's add another one. Go to add, go to listener here and add view results three. Now let's run this one and see what happens. So soap got executed test is still running and now it will execute the rest api this one so this get one so the larger the data the larger it will take the time so the request code executed successfully here click on this one okay and go to this request tab here so you can see that this is the request the method is get and this is a url and now just click on response data so we are getting details of all the airlines here. Okay, there's so much data coming up in this particular API. So that's how you can test the REST API having the get method. Okay, now I am disabling this one here. Okay, let me disable this one. And let's add another request here. Add sampler. Go to HTTP request. Okay, and now change the name it to sample post rest api okay and from this api we will copy the data from here okay and these data will remain same for the both calls and now we need to provide the path now open the postman here and go to this post call here okay and we need to provide the rest of the data so we need to provide the rest of the url from here Copy this one, open the JMeter here, provide the URL, and now we need to provide the body. 
so in order to provide a body here you cannot go to this body data and provide the json format here so how we can do that now you just need to click on parameters and we need to add all the parameters passing in the json okay so open the website here and go to the documentation section here so we have three parameters name trips and line. so copy the name from here go to the gmeter here click add okay name and select the value okay i'm giving it as testing funder click on add then we have this trips here copy this one go to jmeter again and provide the value okay then click on add then again provide the third value okay add line copy this one go here and provide the value okay now save this one and run this one now okay so go to here in the view results tree the request is success you can see that we are getting this proper response here our request is the post request okay and in the post data we have name trips and a line okay so that's how you can configure a rest api now the rest api has been configured properly you can add a load here okay i'm changing it to 10 and clear the results run it again and let's see what happens so this request got executed 10 times and every time we got a proper response here thank you so much for watching this tutorial we hope that you have learned something today if you like our content then do subscribe our channel like share and comment and once again thank you so much for watching this tutorial and see you in the next lecture